You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. Now we're going to get more into more technical side of, of, of making revenue streams. We're going to focus more on the copyright and the publishing side and of the right, the, the legal side of the, of the business, the, the royalty side, the mechanical side, just how you can actually make money the legal way. You know what I mean? This is how record labels are making. This is, this is where the real money is in music is. This is where wealth, you want to make wealth, like merchandising and, and streaming, it, that's the way to make revenue, way to make money. But if you want to make wealth, like, like a hedge fund or like a private equity, or you know what I mean, like like a, like a financial institution. Yeah, this is how you make it right here. This is and this this is why private equity companies are buying are buying music catalogs because that it's, it's the same thing. It's it's asset money. It's the money when you sleep. And how you make money when you sleep is by in music is by owning the copyright, by owning your publishing and admin rights, by owning your by owning your performance rights, uh, mm-hmm. by owning your mechanical rights, uh, by owning your intellectual property. Uh, by owning your digital your di- your digital rights, by owning your sync rights, and by getting paid royalties. Now, let me explain each one for you. So, your copyright is basically. Do you know what copyright is? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, well, uh, I have an idea. Um, um, real quick, I I believe it's in a sense like your brand owning your brand name, like in a sense like owning Nigel, owning all merchandise under Nigel's name. Under you know what I'm saying like I I believe so. Right, so one thing I like that you're right. You're on the right lines. What you're talking about is intellectual property. Oh wow. Right? Okay. Yeah, but but what you're saying is right. The the, the basis of what you're saying is right. Is you're not wrong. Okay. It's right. But what what you said there is is right, but it's not copyright because copyright. You 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 are right, right? Because intellectual property copyright mm-hmm. is a form is one form of intellectual. So in, in, intellectual property, you're, you basically you you're right, but intellectual property. Has different has different structures. They're, they're different segments, right? So one form is copyright. Right. One form is trademarks. One form is patents. You've heard about pattern? I own my pattern. I own a pattern. Yeah, yeah. Those three yeah, things yeah, yeah. are all forms of intellectual property. The ownership of ideas. Uh, got okay? you. All right. That's all it means. In- intellectual property is just the ownership of ideas. Okay. Copyright, um, trademarks, and patents. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. A copyright is a form of IP. And what a copyright is, is the ownership of basically giving someone the right to copy, giving somebody the right to copy your work or idea. That's you. That's, that's all it is. Giving somebody the, the right and permission to copy your work or idea. So when you make a song, when you, make, when you write a song, you own the right to the lyrics. So that's right. right. Yeah, so right now, any, any song you write, you own the right to it right now. You own the right to the lyrics. Any beat you make, you own the right to the beat, to composition. All right? You own it. Right. Because you're the author. You're the maker of it, right? Once you write right. down a paper or you or record it, you own it. You own your masters. That's, they also call it masters in music. Master recordings. I thought, right, this is how, this how, this how Warren Buffett and the man are, oh, man. They just go in their accounts and every day because they, they own stocks and shares. Well, that's music. Your song is a stock and a share, isn't it? And the more people listen to it, yeah, the more, it the, more, no, the, more it the share value goes up. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So, yeah. owning your copyright is very important. So that's that's what copyright is: giving people the right to copy your work and your ideas. Um, owning your publishing is, and your is very important, and your, and your admin rights. So your publishing is is is, for example, when you write a song or you make a beat, that is publishing. Mm-hmm. The people that make the music, the songwriters and the the songwriters and the producers, right? actually okay. made the thing that we're hearing they get paid a publishing fee for every single time that that work is used or played you know what i'm saying they get paid a royalty for it mm-hmm. and, and your admin right is basically when you when you let somebody else collect your money on your behalf so say for example right now you can oh. you can you can you can sign up to bmi or ascap and they will hand you your, your admin rights for you and they'll collect your royalties or distro kid would um, for example they handle your your, your 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 digital royalties right we give our admin rights to distro kid to collect our digital royal, our digital royalties on our behalf because we can't do it ourselves how can we be we haven't got a system in place right. to find that we can't find that every single person playing our music but distro kid have made a system in place to do that so we we go to them for their service to help us collect on our behalf you know what I mean? I'm trying. Obviously, the future for me is to make my own system. Where I collect everything myself, but that's like far down the future for me. You know what I mean? Right now, you know what I mean. My goal was to cut every single minimum out and do all in house. You know what I mean? That right. we're there, bro. We're building an economic empire. You know what I'm saying? But that's 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 the future. No middleman. 
no middle man. You don't need them. Because right now, with, with technology, you, don't, you ain't going to need them. Eventually, we, there'll be a way to figure out how to, if I can figure out a technology to, um, or make my, own, make my own technology um, of, of how to um, collect all my royalties and um, find out who's, who play my music on streaming services, TV shows, I'll just cut them out and do it myself. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't actually need them. We give our rights to these people to collect on our behalf. You know what I'm saying? And that's how they make their money. You know what I'm saying? Collecting, yeah. our, collecting our money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's the music business, man. It's a shady. That's how it is, bro. It's, just, it's, not, it's not a good industry. And we have to we have to take over it now and disrupt it now and make it better for us because we can now. So um, owning your, and next, next thing is owning your performance rights. So your performance rights is every single time you perform a song, you get paid a royalty. Okay, you get paid two royalties. Mm. You get you get a performer royalty and you get a mechanical royalty. A mechanical royalty is paid to songwriters, publishers, and composers. Okay? okay. A performance royalty is paid to rights holders and performers. So if you own the rights to your song, you get paid a performance royalty. I mean, if you own the right if you own the rights to 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 your publishing, you get paid a mechanical royalty. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I got you. So, you got that. Thank you. God, that's good. And um, so I was paying mechanicals. Intellectual property is what you is basically the ownership of ideas. And what that is is basically your copyright, your trademark. So your trademark is, for example, this logo. Do it yourself. On my hat right here. Uh, you see my hat right here. See right? Right. I own. I own yeah, this I logo. It. I own the logo. This. All right. I trademarked it. Right. And I paid money, and I, I I own this logo. So I own the intellectual property to this logo. So if anyone uses my logo without my permission on I can actually tell them to take it down. If it don't, I can take legal action on them because I actually own the IP in this logo. You know what I'm saying? You could do yeah. that too. It don't cost a lot of money, but it's good to do that because now you can. Now when you put out your merchandise, it's official merch. You know what I mean? You can now put your logo on merch and sell it efficiently. You know what I mean? Because you own that logo. So I, I invested the money into this logo and I've, I've made the money back plus 100% return on, on profit on top from that small investment in this logo because this logo actually makes me revenue because people buy the merch with the logo on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Only your your trademark is important, so your artist name you can own that. A rec- when you sign to a record label, they will own your name. Yeah, like they will yeah, own your artist name. Yeah, I know, I know that. Yeah, they they will own everything. They, they will own your copyright. They will own your publishing. They will own your performing rights. They will own your mechanical rights. They will own your intellectual property. They will own your digital rights. They will own your sync oh rights. God. Your sync rights and will, your sync rights is when your song is synced into someone's video. So, say for example, when the song is paid, it, my brother, there you go. You get paid a performance royalty for that and a mechanical royalty for that as well. You definitely get paid a performance royalty for that because I that, that was my old job. I used to work in music licensing, and that, that was my old job. So I used to do that for a living. But yeah, you, you, you get paid okay. for that. Yeah. So, for example, if your if your music's and that's why when you when you go on YouTube, people give you a copyright strike and stuff like that, because they have to, you have to pay the rights holder. You have to get their permission or pay them a royalty for it. Or if they're a nice person, they'll let you use it for free because. So there's different ways you can use your copyright, you know what I'm saying? And your digital rights is basically when your music's on the, on the internet, like YouTube, uh, Facebook, anywhere, anywhere your song is played on the internet, that, that's your digital rights. You also get paid for that. And distro kids collect, they collect that on your behalf. So Spotify, places like that. Spotify pay a mechanical right, but they also pay a digital, you get paid digital royalties for that as well. So basically, the, the, the digital rights is, is the usage of your music on the internet. You get paid, a, that's, that's your digital rights. And you have, and if people use your music on the internet, that's to ask your permission because you have the right to that. Do you know what I mean? Is that clear or too much? No, no, I got it. I, I, I got that. And then, and then getting paid royalties, which th- that, that's basically what I explained to you throughout now. So r- royalties is just basically people paying you to use your music or, you know, they have to pay you. If anyone wants to use your music, only a, a fan has a, a fan pays to, to own your music they pay to stream it or they pay to own it you know what I mean you can't really charge a fan because personal use anything, anything anything for personal use we can't charge for royalties but anything for commercial use like for example if a hospital plays your music in the hospital they have to pay you a performance royalty and have to pay you a mechanical royalty because anytime your music is played played or used or broadcast publicly and it's anywhere they have to pay your royalty for it by law in, in America or in England it's law it has to pay you by it. The law was the law was put in place to pay us. So any any time someone uses our music by law, they have to pay us. If but only right. if we own the copyright. Only if we own the publishing and and the, and the copyright. If you don't own your copyright on your publishing, if you don't own the two types, because there are two types of copyright: publishing and the copy and 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 the sound recording. The sound recording is the MP3 file and the WAV file. That's the sound recording. 
you own that or the producer owns that. You know what I mean? That's the that's the sound recording, right? right. That's one that's that's the copyright, owning that. And the other side of the copyright is owning the publishing, the lyrics and the beat. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you owned one of those two or you own both, you need you're gonna get paid a royalty for it when someone uses it by law. They have to pay you by law. If they don't say so say for example, you, you're walking into like you're walking into Walmart and you hear them playing your music, you have they have to pay you for that. You have to go to the manager and say, you're paying my music, record it on your phone, or record the video saying, they're paying my music, that's proof. You walk into the store and say, look, you're paying my music, you have to pay me, you have to ask my permission, you have to pay me a royalty, and then you can decide how much you want for it. <laughs> and if Walmart, I'm charging them, I'm charging them like 5,000 off the top, or 1,000 off the top, because Walmart, I'll say, look, yeah, I'm going to charge you, give me, give me $1,000 now, and I'll, I'll let you use it. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's how it is with anyone. You know what I'm saying? Spotify pays legal. There's like a, I, I don't know the rate, but there's like a legal rate that you have to pay, like a certain rate you have to pay by law. But also it's up to you how much you charge. You know what I'm saying? You don't, it's, right. you, 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 you can set the price for your, for your work. It's your work. Like for, for example, Joe Rogan, for Spotify to get the exclusive rights for his podcast, he charged them $100 million. Damn. And they paid him it. Oh, wow. But how much is he pay? How much are they paying us? Less than a penny, three quarters of a penny. Yeah, twenty five cents. Come on, man! Not even that. Not even that. Right, that's ridiculous. Three quarters of a penny. Not not even a penny. It's three quarters of a penny. Less than a penny. Not even not yeah, even right, a, right. not even a cent. So that's 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 how you get the real money. That's how you get the wealth. That's how you get wealthy. That's how you get the real wealth. That's what record labels. That's how record labels make billions upon billions by owning these rights here. That's that's their business. This this is their business. Owning your rights. It's crazy. It's crazy. That's why independent artists don't have any money now or they will now, but we did it before because we have to give away our rights to this to this demonic corrupt system called the called the music industry where another human being will own everything you do and get paid off it and pay their kids and it's this joke and pass it down pass down your 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 wealth and your and your art and your expression to their children and they live off it. Just because they promoted it. But the, remember your your copyright and becomes valuable once people know about it. You know what I'm saying? The more people know about it, the more plays you get, the more the copyright becomes valuable. You know what I'm saying? The more the asset becomes valuable, the more money it makes. You know what I mean? Right. The more plays means more royalty checks for you. Because people have to pay you for the use of it. You know what I'm saying? Spotify's got paid to use your music. You know what I'm saying? Apple, Apple's got paid to use their music. They have to pay your royalty. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 if I don't know, if Nike want to use your music, they definitely have to pay you. So, oh, I'm, for sure. Netflix definitely got to pay. Netflix um, I got to pay, but that's, that's that's your digital rights. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They got to pay you for that as well. What's going on, people? It's Ashia DIY here. And if you don't know, I've started a university. Yes, I've started an actual university. I actually went to university and now I'm starting a university. And the main reason why I've started this university is to help independent artists be educated on their business. Because I'm just noticing that the problem with, with, with artists now is not really about anyone can make a song, but it's how do I get a song out there? How do I make money from it? And this university is all about helping you understand how to actually do that. So um, if you're an independent artist, you're a small brand or you're a small business that wants to learn more about marketing, promotion, advertising, entrepreneurship, business, finance, etc. Please sign up to the University of Do Yourself Entertainment. Your first class is free. It costs zero zero pounds. What you gotta do now is just go to www.diyent.com. Sign up there. Your first class is free. And I look forward to seeing you guys on this, on this semester. Peace out, D-I-Y-E-N-T. Do it yourself. Do, 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 do it yourself.